what I don't really like about it is that the uh, the kick, the bass drum uh, track, is also the track that holds the the MIDI uh, info, and I'd like to have those separated for some reason because it doesn't make any sense that I have all these uh, nodes here, instruments here, but actually this is just the bass drum. So I'd like to have the bass drum on a on a separate channel as well. And the way to do that is to go back to uh, Easy Drummer, open the mixer, and just change the track of this instead of one. We're going to shift them all by one. So this is going to be track two, track two is going to become track three, track four, five, and so on. So let's do that now. Also, notice that the post snares are on separate tracks. I don't really need that. So what I'm going to do is change this to track 2 for all the bass drums and this to track 3 so both snare drums are now sending to track 3 and I don't have to uh, adjust the other ones because they're already okay so 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there we go oh sorry 7 uh, also notice that all the toms are going to the same uh, track or the same output okay now let's come back here so now this is going to be my kick instead of my snare drum this is going to be my snare drum my toms uh, sorry hi-hat toms uh, overheads and this one eight is actually not used so I can delete it okay let's play again we, now you just have a look at the output here you'll see this this gonna be nothing there So now I have all the instruments, bass drum, etc., on separate tracks, and I have a separate track for recording. So if I uh, would hit uh, something on my MIDI keyboard and actually record it, it would record in this slot. Uh, let's quickly do that. I'm going to add one. There you go. So now this is completely separated from the actual drum sounds. Which is... Well, I like it better. And we delete that. So we're almost there. I'm just gonna rename a few things. So when I save this, it actually makes sense. So I'm gonna rename this... Uh, okay, name it easy. So there we go. So once I have renamed everything, I'm gonna save the live set and I'm gonna save it in my projects folder, which is here. I already have one there. So save live set. Find my projects folder. There I have it. Easy drummer. There we go. I'm gonna name it like that okay so there it is oh no sorry uh, I'm gonna do uh, oh there it is um, and I'm gonna save it a second time but this time as a template so save live set as and I'm gonna go into the Ableton library and there's a folder there called templates. Okay, save it here. Why am I doing this? Well, now I can actually create a new document from that template. 
So I can now do two things. I can create a new document, a new empty one, so new live set. And I can go into my projects folder where I saved it first and just drag and drop it into a new slot, into a new track. And there I have the complete uh, setup the way I have created it. Uh, even including the the demo tracks or instead of uh, adding it to a document I can of course open the document itself make some uh, changes if I want to or need to like for instance actually delete the tracks make sure it's a it's an empty document uh, and of course save it again you can see here it's the easy drummer jazz kit so just save the live set if I now create a new one and drag it in here you see now the demo songs are gone and because I also saved it as a template I can instead of doing file new live set and having an empty document I can go into my library find the templates folder uh, I think yeah, this is it just double click it and it will create a complete new document you see it's untitled it's a new document and yeah this one still has the, the tracks in it as you can see um, and I can take it from here I have now a new document with my easy drummer jazz kit in it and go file save and save it somewhere else like maybe on my desktop or whatever and when I make changes here it doesn't actually change the, the template because it, ma it made a copy uh, of that uh, original so that gives you two ways of using your own multi-channel uh, easy drummer drum kit okay that's it thanks for watching